the all-new Mazda CX-5 is a great choice for those looking for a reliable and stylish car. It has all the bells and whistles that one could want in a vehicle, and it's a great value for your price. Mazda's kind of like Alfa Romeo or Fiat or something else that's like a rental car in Italy or Europe where it just has that kind of bouncy, quick, nimble kind of feel. But it's available here in America, so if you like that kind of thing. And it also has a five-star rating from the Euro NCAP, the safety people but Euro. See what I mean? If you're in the market for a new car, the all-new Mazda CX-5 should be at the top of your list. The Mazda CX-5 is a popular SUV that has been on the market for several years. In that time, it has undergone several redesigns and generations. The first Mazda CX-5 was introduced in 2012 as a replacement for the Mazda Tribute. If you're an 80s or 90s kid, then you'll know some of these things. It was a compact SUV that was available in both front wheel and all wheel drive. The CX-5 was powered by a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine that had a six speed manual or automatic transmission. The second gen CX-5 was introduced in 2017. It was a complete redesign. It was now a mid-size SUV with an available 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and it quickly became one of Mazda's best selling vehicles. And it remains to be one of the most popular compact SUVs in the market today. And in 2018, Mazda redesigned the CX-5 from the ground up. The all-new model featured a new engine, a new transmission, and updated exterior designs. And the 2018 CX-5 is the best CX-5 yet. It's sure to continue Mazda's tradition of success in the compact SUV segment. Here's the pricing lineup. The new CX-5 is bringing a new level of style and sophistication and performance to the compact SUV segment. So you think it'd be kind of up there and expensive, but well, you'll see. With an all-new design, new turbocharged engines, and a host of cutting-edge technology, the CX-5 is sure to turn heads and turn up the fun to every drive. They break it down like this. It's a 2.5 liter engine, so everyone's named that. The 2.5 S, which comes in at 26.7, that's your base model. Then you got the 2.5 S Select, obviously some upgrades and features for 28.5. Then the 2.5 S Preferred, which I prefer and most people prefer at 29590. Then you got the 2.5S carbon edition at 3500. Then the 2.5S premium, which obviously sounds like the top of the line cuz it pretty much is at 32400. But no, then you got the premium plus. The 2.5S premium plus comes in at 355. But wait, we're not done yet. There's two turbo editions that jump up the horsepower from 187 to 256 with the same 2.5 liter engine, just turbocharged. You got the 2.5 turbo at 36,850 and the 2.5 turbo signature, which you guessed it has signatures all over it. No, I'm just kidding. It's got stuff in it that is better. And it's 39,650. I make fun of the naming convention just because it's easy and fun, but honestly, it's pretty straightforward. It makes sense. If you want the 2.5S Carbon Edition, it's because you like carbon. Wait. Anyway, moving on. Like for instance, the preferred model. Is that like the best one? Yes, it is. So if you ask me which one of my favorite is, it's the preferred model for 29,590. It comes with everything you'd want out of the higher end trims and the lower end trims without any of the extra stuff and you know not having a CD player or a tape player. So I think the 2.5S Preferred is kind of the way to go if you had to ask me which one I'd pick. This new gen of the all-new CX-5 is really built from the ground up, and you can tell. Some of the features that are really amazing are dual-zone automatic climbing control, six-way power adjustable driver seats, eight-way power adjustable driver seats and some of the ones upstairs, 19-inch alloy aluminum wheels, paddle shifters, heated rear seats in some of them, which is really hard to come by, wireless phone chargers, some genuine layered wood trim, 360-degree monitors, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It, it goes on and on. Look, I'm gonna be straight with you. Overall, the Mazda series looks like it's a more economic car. It feels like it's a more economic car. You don't see too many of them on the road, but when you do see those people, you know that they've kind of traveled the world. This car feels like that car that gets you from point A to point B and has a little bit of sophistication in it, almost like a German automobile or something from Norway. It makes you feel like you've made a clever choice. It makes you feel like you've made an independent choice. It makes you feel like you've made a choice. You're not following the crowd. You chose to do this. You chose to go Mazda. <laughs>